so much. Sure. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Mr. Hilton, Hilton Foundation jurors, Dr. Lee, Judy Miller, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is truly an honor to stand in such distinguished company to accept the 2004 Conrad N. Hilton Humanitarian Prize on behalf of Heifer International. Those with us around the room today include representatives of other organizations that have previously received the award, as you've heard from others before me. We are so privileged to be in your company. You inspire us and you walk beside us in our collective mission to alleviate suffering in our global village that we share and call Earth. We at Heifer International would very much like to thank the Arkansas Congressional Delegation and others who nominated Heifer for this prestigious award. And we are extremely grateful to the distinguished jurors who selected Heifer International for this honor. Steve Hilton just said in some very kind remarks that Heifer International success proved that it's often simple ideas that are the best. As many of you know, the seeds of Heifer's efforts to end hunger sprouted from the embattled earth of the Spanish Civil War in the 1930s, some of which you saw in the video. Our founder, Dan West, is a volunteer relief worker, ladled out cups of milk to the civilian victims on both sides of the conflict. He came to believe the solution was not just a dairy cup once a day of milk, but also a cow to provide a continuing source of that milk for the long term. Since then, this simple idea has helped millions around the world to move closer to self-reliance and dignity. During the six decades of our work, small farmers all over the world have repeatedly demonstrated to us the success of simplicity, using the gift of a single animal and training to bolster diets and improve nutrition, to improve housing and provide education, to restore marginal lands, to safeguard water supplies, and to ensure the full participation of men and women in building communities together. We on the Heifer team are keenly aware that those farming families are the true winners of this prize that we're hearing about and sharing today. We're proud to represent them. Thank you. Families in Navajo country and the Andes across Central and Eastern Europe on the African grasslands and the Tibetan Plateau and many other places across our planet. And I'm so appreciative that Steve did introduce to you some of the people from around the world that are here today that have come a long way to share this honor with us. Despite limited resources, the beneficiaries rise every day, determined to make the world a better place for their families. They are modest of modest means, but in their hearts, they hold humanity's richest treasures. Daily through their efforts, they demonstrate ingenuity, industry, a love of peace, a passion for justice, great common sense, and uncommon courage. Though largely unheralded, they carry out some of the most important work of our time. They strengthen their communities. They feed, clothe, and educate their children. They teach their children and the rest of us to love and to hope. They build peace in the face of ignorance, conflict, and chaos. They receive and they pass on the gift to others. They are in a very real sense heroes and role models for all of us. At Heifer International, we continually are inspired by what small farmers around the world teach us about cooperation, dignity, respect, hope, and compassion. We take great pride in working with them and in following their examples. I'd like to share with you three of my very favorite quotes that can be found in this small, modest book that we have produced ourselves to thank our friends and our donors called One World, One Family because my words are never adequate enough, but I can find words of others that seem to express what's in my heart. I have the audacity 
to believe that people everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirits. Martin Luther King, Jr. My second quote that I'll share, we cannot all do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Mother Teresa. And the final I'll share with you. In my world, the needs of women and children transcend their politics. And that's from Dan West, the founder of Heifer International. And I do know that Dan's daughter is in the room. Jan, um, I'm not sure where you're seated or if your brother Phil, would you stand up one moment? Because we carry on with the next generation and then the next and the next. We're privileged to have with us today one of the very <laughs> finest examples of Heifer's success stories. For it's not nearly enough for you to hear from a CEO from North America when we have beautiful leaders all around this world and great examples of people who inspire us that I spoke about previously. As a child in Uganda, and you did see her in the video in her little red dress carrying the firewood and helping her mother and family, her family received a goat in training in its care. As a result, her family moved closer to self-reliance and the realization of their dreams. In time, Beatrice's family became donors themselves when they proudly passed on their gift to another family in need. Beatrice's grace, intelligence, and young wisdom to demonstrate the potential of millions around the globe who require only a fair opportunity and modest resources appropriate for their culture, environment, and special needs in order to realize the dignity they so richly deserve. It is my privilege to introduce to you my dear personal friend and to ask her to share this podium with me in accepting this fantastic humanitarian prize today. And I promise you, you will never forget her. I'll give you be it just to tell her story. Thank you. Thank you so much for the honor to speak before all of you. Um, I'm one of those millions and millions that are so grateful for the Heifer International for extending their services to the underprivileged of this world. Now, I was born and grew up in Uganda, Western Uganda to be specific, and for a long time, there was a lot of war going on in my village when I was growing up. And for that reason, there is so much poverty in my village. So much poverty, I don't mean the poverty of not having a television or a fridge or a carpet in your house. Poverty where children do not have what to eat, they, their parents do not have a source of income, and they cannot go to school, they do not have what to wear. It's so much need that you cannot believe it when you go there. But still, I do not want to dwell on the poverty my country is very beautiful, very hardworking people. Give them an opportunity and you will see what comes out. And this is exactly me. I was very hopeless when I grew up. I grew up in doing so much work, digging and helping my parents. But more so, I really wanted to have a chance to go to school. I wanted to become a doctor, a pilot, everything that a child would wish to become. But I knew I couldn't get there unless I went to school and got some kind of skills. And I was so miserable. How could this happen one day? Not until through the Heifer International, the women's group in my village received dairy goats. And my mom came and told me we are going to receive this wonderful gift from the Heifer International of a dairy goat. And I was very frustrated. I told her, what is this goat going to do for me? <laughs> and she said, watch this. We are going to get very wonderful things from this goat. It's exotic. It's a, it's a diary goat. 
diary gods. We don't have diary gods in our village. Our gods are meat gods. So when we received the god, we helped our mother put up everything, the god's housing, and after three months it gave birth, we sold the milk, we sold the baby gods, and I was just, I saved enough money to get started in going to school. I started my schooling when I was nine years old, but that doesn't mean anything. I worked so hard, and I'm very glad that I could be able to go to school. And right now, I'm a freshman at Connecticut College. Thank you. I love the Heifer International so much for, on top of my family having a new house, providing milk that makes a difference in so many children's health lives in the villages, providing with my parents a steady source of income, and then providing me with that potential, with that opportunity of achieving my potentials. I'm very glad and grateful for the education that I'm getting. And I have seen so many more smiles on many people who benefit from the Heifer International. I am very happy and very confident for this and I can't be any clearer. I'm just an example. Thank you so much.